Today we'll be looking at something called the mean, median, and mode. And this is also part of statistics where we're given data. And we have to do three steps today. We're going to take our data. We're going to first put it in order. We're going to do what's called finding the mean. And to find the mean, what we do is the mean means the sum of the values divided by the number of values. So let's say we get a list of numbers. What we're going to do is take those numbers, put them in order from least to greatest. Then we're going to add them all up and divide by how many numbers we have. Now to find the median, that's pretty easy. Once our numbers are in order, the median number is the one that is directly in the center. And when we do some examples, we'll see how easy it is to find the median. And now the mode, it's another example that's also extremely easy to find because the mode is the value or the number that appears most often. So over time, with me out of the way, let's look at our vocabulary words. The mean, the mean is the sum of the values or the numbers divided by the number of values. The median is the value that is right in the middle of our number set, and the mode is the number that appears the most often. Now let's look at some examples of using the mean, median, and mode. Now let's say, for example, we've done a survey and we've asked a couple of students how many pets they have at home. So it's titled, The Number of Pets at Home. So if I go around and conduct a small survey and people give me their answers, I have one student tell me that they have five pets, another tells me they have three pets, Another student tells me that she has two pets, another tells me that he has five, and then the last student I asked tells me that he has 15 different pets at home. So my first step in finding the mean, median, and mode is to take my data sample here and put it in order from least to greatest. So now what I want to do is see which number is smallest in our set, we know that's two. So that'll be our first number because we're going from least to greatest. Since I've got two out of the way, I can just cross it out so I don't repeat it. I see there's a three next. Now I'm going for the next smallest number, which is 5. Got that one out of the way. We have another 5. Get that one out of the way. Which leaves us with our largest number in the set, and that was the person that has 15 pets. So now that all of our data is in order from least to greatest, we can find the mean, median, and the mode. Well, let's start with the mean. Remember, to find the mean, what I have to do is take these numbers and add them all up whatever number that is, I'll divide by how many people I asked. And I know that I asked one, two, three, four, five. So it's going to be my answer divided by five. So I'm gonna set that up right over here so I don't forget. I'm gonna divide something by five. Well, we can go down the list here. We have 15 plus five. We know it's going to be 20. 20 plus five is 25. 25 plus 3, 28. 28 plus 2 gives us 30. So now I know I'm going to divide 30 by 5. 5 will go into 30. 6 times evenly. So what this means is the mean number or the average number of pets owned from the people I asked is 6. So now I can put in that answer. The mean equals 6. All right, so we now have the mean out of the way. What we want to find next is the median and the mode. This is really easy to do, to do because all we have to do is look at our number set. To find the median, it's the number in the middle. To find the mode, it's the number that repeats itself the most. So let's start with the median, that middle number. Well, we know we have one, two, three, four, five. Whenever we have an odd set of numbers, it's really easy to find the median because it's gonna have the same amount of numbers on the right side as it does on the left. And I can tell right now, it looks like five is my median number because if we look, there are one, two numbers to the right and one, two numbers to the left. So now I found my second answer because my median is equal to five. Now, to find our last answer, remember, the mode is the number that appears the most. Well, 2 is here once, 3 is here once, 15 is here once, but 5 appears twice. 5 appears more often than any other number in the set, which means that our mode is 5 as well. And now we have found all three answers we are looking for, the mean, the median, and the mode. And remember, to find the mean, to 
first thing we have to do is take our data set, put them in order from least to greatest, we add them up and divide by the amount of values in the set. To find the median number, it's pretty simple. It's just the number that's in the middle of the set and the mode is the number that appears the most in the set. In our case, it was five because it was there twice and all the other numbers were only there once. The final step we'll look at today involves finding the median number in a data set where we have an even amount of values. So let's count off how many values we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we know that's an even number. So it makes finding the median a little bit more difficult. Remember, if this was an odd amount of values, it would be really easy to find the median because it's the number in the middle. But if we look here, I can't really pinpoint one number that'll have the same amount of values on both sides. If I were to pick five, well, there's two to the right of five and three to the left of five, so it can't be five. And that's gonna happen with almost any number that I pick. One side of the number is gonna have more values than the other. So what we do, is we pick the center two numbers, and if we see it's three and five, I can verify that they're the middle two because there are two to the right and two to the left. Now what I'm gonna do with these two numbers is add them together and then divide by two. And that's how we find the median for a range of numbers that's even. So three plus five is eight. 8 divided by 2, which we know is 4. So if I were to find the median for this set of numbers, I know now it's 4. And I got 4 because I added together the two middle numbers and I divided by 2. And that's going to be the process that we use to find the median for an even set of numbers every time. We're going to find the middle two numbers, we'll add them together, and then divide by 2.